Hey YouTube, this is going to be an interesting test. We're going to test out the effectiveness of a GFCI or ground fault circuit interrupter by doing something that you might think kind of stupid. We're going to put that computer power supply, that extension cord, into that bucket of water. And first off, do not try this yourself unless you have basic electrical experience and know what you're doing. First off, I am wearing insulated rubber gloves that are designed and rated up to 500 volts. And they have recently been tested, so hopefully we'll be good. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. And we're going to throw it in there and see if it trips the breaker. Well that was exciting. Now, let's take the camera and go in here and see if it tripped it. It did not. Actually, yes it did, because that was out. Okay, it did trip it, so it worked. Basically the way a GFCI works is it will sense a difference in potential coming into the line and going out from the hot to the neutral and if there's a big enough difference it'll shut it off. Someone was doing this with a clock radio. The problem they had was they were using the clock radio wasn't grounded. It didn't have a grounded case like this does. Um, so the problem they had was there was no ground reference. It won't tri trip for a current difference from hot to neutral. It has to be if it detects a leakage in the ground is what I'm trying to say. It'll trip. Being that the metal computer case was grounded, well, it tripped it. And hey, it cleaned all the dirt out there, too. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, and once again, do not try this unless you know what you are doing. Have a good one.